Hello guys, in my previous video I have showed to you how to set up ESP IDF environment in order to write ESP32 applications in C using Visual Studio Code as a code editor. This video will be a quick tutorial about how you can start with programming your first application using ESP IDF, so let's get to work. For an easier starting I have prepared boilerplate which you can find on my github page. All links will be available in the description down below. Ok, first I will log in into my Ubuntu and open terminal. With command cd I will go into desktop folder because there I want to create my new ESP IDF project. Once when I'm located in desktop folder I will clone the boilerplate with git clone command and after repository URL I will name my project as a my awesome project. As you can see after executing git clone command new folder is created on my desktop. Nice. Now I will go inside of my awesome project. And to generate project configuration I will execute make menu config. Leave all settings as default, press S for save and escape for closing configuration menu. After configuration we can execute make to build project and create build folder. When building process is done we can open Visual Studio Code by executing code dot. Ok, once when Visual Studio Code is open go to folder main and open main.c file. This is, as the file name says, entry point of our application. For now we have here only method for printing hello world. Let's flash this now into ESP and try if it is work. Open Visual Studio Code integrated terminal and run command make flash. Don't forget, your ESP needs to be connected to your PC, of course, and its need to be set in programming mode. Once when flashing process is done, we can open Ubuntu terminal and run make monitor to see the output of ESP. And as we can see, hello world is here. You can now go back to Visual Studio Code and write your awesome application. Attach some sensors to ESP, read the temperature, humidity, display data on displays, etc. If you want to support my work on this channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Till the next time, bye.